We're going to Goodwill. Oh my gosh, so they just brought out a new car. And look at this. An old vintage Pyrex bowl. Of course, I have to go find the lid to see if there's one. And then look at this cool little guy. So those were on the new car. And then we have this, which I don't know what it is, but it's signed by somebody named Eddie. Interesting. So we'll probably get these. No, no, he's not doing nothing to me, see? <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Did we do good at Goodwill? Mm -hmm. Did we get a Louis Vuitton bag? Yes, we did. It's so pretty, too. Hi, everyone, we're back. Thrifting with Rosie. This is Rosie and my name is Lisa. Say hi, Rosie. Yeah, say hi. All right, you can go to your, your little spot. All right. So you probably saw the first part of my video. We went to Goodwill this week and we got some cool things. Uh, so of course, I always bring stuff home. I do some research. Um, so that I can give you some information because I like to learn about the things that I find. And so we will just get started. So the first thing that we found is this beautiful vintage Pyrex bowl. And of course Pyrex is all the rage right now. Everybody is trying to get their hands on Pyrex, especially the vintage. So what I found out about this one, and there's actually a website that you can go to to find out about every type of Pyrex that has been made. So I'll put this, I'll put the link at the bottom um, of this video, so in case you want to check it out. But um, this type of design is called Autumn Floral Verde, and it originated in 1966. And what's really cool about Pyrex is that on the back, I don't know if you can really see it, but on the back, all the Pyrexes are numbered. So this is number 473. And what that tells us is that this was part of the 470 round, round casserole series. Um, I did not find the lid for this one, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to keep looking for the lid. Um, I don't think I'm going to sell this. I'm probably going to keep this for myself because I'll actually use it because it's so small and light. Um, but what I did find out about the lids that's pretty interesting about Pyrex is um, how they have the numbers on the back and the lids also have numbers. So if I was looking for a lid of 473, um, I can go to the same website and it will tell me exactly what number the lid should be for this uh, casserole dish. So the lid for this one should be 470C. Um, so we'll see if we can find a lid for it and then um, I can use it. But I love, love the design of this one. All right, moving on to our next little item that we found is this guy just a miniature little elephant and this elephant is part of the Jim Shore Heartwood collection and it is crafted from high stone resin I love the little uh, rose on the, sh on the cheeks it's so cute um, so what I learned about Jim Shore is um, he's 
a self-taught, very successful, very successful artist from South Carolina. And he has done partnerships with Inesco, Disney, Peanuts, Grinch, and Country Living. And so he makes all these little figures. And this one is actually even signed on the back. JS for Jim Shore. So pretty neat little thing. Um, the one thing about this little elephant is it actually won't, it's kind of front heavy, so it won't sit on a shelf. So I think if somebody wanted this, they would have to um, make something so that it could actually just sit on a shelf. I think it's gorgeous. I love the design. Pretty cool, huh? All right, moving on to the next piece that we have. Um, is this one. So this is actually a pepper shaker. I could not find the salt shaker. And this is Brayton Laguna Pottery. And it was founded by Derlin Brayton in 1927 actually here in Laguna Beach, California. And the Brayton Laguna pottery was considered ground zero of the colorware movement in California. Just beautiful artwork, just beautiful designs. And after World War II, they were actually very successful, but after World War II when um, the tariffs were lifted, um, all the cheaper imports um, basically took them out of business and so they actually closed their company in 1968 and if you look here each piece is hand inscribed with Brayton so I'm hoping I can find the salt shaker that goes with this it's actually a little woman um, yeah just I just knew it was cool Our next item so you didn't see this on the video um, when I was at Goodwill because I saw this on a cart when they were about to close and I saw it and I grabbed it and I said oh my gosh I'm taking this in fact I had already checked out and had to go back and and purchase these but these are and I haven't posted these yet to resell yet these are Wedgwood Jasperware a cream and sugar set and it has um, basically a cobalt blue field with raised white classical figures and it goes all the way around it's just absolutely beautiful I've never seen anything like this so this is the creamer and what I learned about Jasperware was um, it was invented by Josiah Wedgwood in England and it in 1774 and he actually did over 5,000 experiments which were actually documented to come up with this design of where he could get color on a white dense stone wire. And it is just absolutely beautiful. So this is called Blue Jasper and this was actually perfected in 1775 and it is actually the signature style of Wedgwood. Um, another fun fact about Josiah Wedgwood was he was a pioneer in England and he was also an anti-slavery um, activist. And he does have one very famous piece, and it's a medallion. And I'll put a picture of it on the video. But uh, the medallion is called, Am I Not a Man and a Brother? And it's actually located or on display in the Metro Metropolitan, Metro now I can't say it, Metropolitan Museum of Art. Um, so very, very interesting fun facts about this. 
So you can see it says England at the bottom and Wedgwood at the top. And then this one is also inscribed. England Wedgwood. So another th one other thing about Josiah Wedgwood is he was actually the grandfather of Charles Darwin. Very cool. So some very neat, interesting things. All right, two more items and then I'll get to my last item. Um, I found these little glass figurines. Um, this one is a kitty cat and it is, the detail is just impeccable. And it actually has the polished bottom and it is clear. I mean, I can see through it. It is absolutely clear. I've seen these, not one that looks like this, but I've seen these before, and I usually see them at Goodwill and the ears are clipped off or whatnot, uh, but this one is beautiful, and you can see the detail for the eyes and the mouth. And then this one is a teddy bear. And what I loved about this teddy bear, I've never seen one this big. You can see how big it is, um, and it's, it's round. It's a big teddy bear. And it has a huge bow, huge. It's almost over, it's almost too big for the bear. But this one is also, um, you can tell they're hand blown, but this one is see-through. And just, the face is just stunning. So neat. I love it when I find, when I can find anything glass, I think that's my favorite thing. Um, especially figurines. Um, so the last item you probably saw in my video, just grab it, is a Louis Vuitton bag. Now I said in my last video, I, I'm i not into bags. I really don't carry a bag. I actually wear a fanny pack, um, a very generic fanny pack. But uh, when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I just thought it was beautiful. So I think this would make a beautiful gift to somebody who um, wears bags or loves designer bags. It's just absolutely beautiful. And the leather, the leather smells so good. I'll show you the inside. The inside is just black, but it has that soft black. Um, I actually have um, a Louis Vuitton backpack and it has the same type of same type of um, lining inside. Just beautiful. And so that's pretty much it. Oh, I did find this sweater too. I found this sweater yesterday. Um, I believe it's a Target sweater, um, but I found it. I think it was $2 and so loved it so I thought I would wear it for the video. So yeah, that's everything that we found. Um, I'm gonna list these on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, OfferUp, and then also my Facebook um, and to resell them and see what we, we can get for them. But we had a fun day yesterday at Goodwill. Um, the ladies were so nice in there and everybody was so nice. Um, and I had my little guard dog she does not like it when, when a new cart comes out and people go up there and start looking before I can look. So um, it, it was just, it was just funny. And everybody loved Rose, huh? Come on, Rose, come on, come on, say goodbye. So that is Thrifting with Rosie. Uh, make sure you subscribe and you hit the like button. And yeah, just look out for our next video, hopefully next week. And actually next weekend, um, I'm going to a wedding in Las Vegas. I think I'm still going. I'm not too sure. I got some things going on in the family. But um, if I do, I want to see if I can meet up with Thrifting Vegas. And I know that she does videos and she also um, does a lot of thrifting in Vegas. And I've never gone thrifting in Vegas. So we'll see. We'll send a shout out to her to see if she'll meet up with us and maybe we can collab on a video and she can show me all the good things in Las Vegas. But if not, maybe we'll just run in, into her when we're doing a video. 
course I won't have Rose there, but uh, she'll be with us. She'll always be with us and um, we'll see what we can find, what treasures we can find. So um, until then, we'll see you later. Bye.